All right, so let's go ahead and make up one of our own and see how fun this is. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna divide, right? So we'll see, we'll divide, and uh, we'll make it uh, some kind of fraction here, which we will do, use long division. So uh, let's. Oh, well, <laughs> no problem. That's. I thought it already was miserable, but here we are. So <laughs> let's let's see if we can get something out there. Now I, I I'll do the denominator just. Well, let's do an X. No, we don't want any of those. <laughs> do, you, do you guys want a coefficient? No, no, nothing too difficult. But okay. Okay. Let, let's let's make it a coefficient of two. Two is not too bad to work with. Okay. Now, do you want something added or subtracted next? Because we should. Well, what do you want added? Or subtract what? Three. Three. Okay. Now we got to go to the denominator. Let's miss some terms on purpose, though, right? Some, some of those uh, degrees. Uh, what do you want to start with? X to the power of what? Six? Oh <laughs> Five? Five. 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 Okay, Five. we'll do it. But well, do you want a coefficient there? Do you want a coefficient there? Yes. Okay, we'll make it make it even so that it's not so bad. Four. Four. Okay. Positive or negative? Positive. Positive. Okay, positive. Next one, you want positive or negative? Positive. Positive? We'll skip it. We'll make this one an x to the power of 3. How about that? Because it's so fun. Do you want a coefficient? Yeah, make it a 2. All right, 2 is good. Uh, uh, okay, and then uh, next one, we'll do minus on the next one. How about that? Uh, we'll make that one an x squared. We'll do an x squared term. Uh, what do you want the coefficient to be? Just make it even. 6. 6. Okay, and then uh, should we skip the x term? Yeah. Just to yeah, make sure. it so fun. Uh, so the last one, do you want the constant to be positive or negative? Positive. Positive. Plus 15. 15, okay. All right, now let's see what happens with this then, all right? So we've, we've created this one ourselves. Uh, again, I'm going to rewrite this, though, with the zero terms in there. This, it's already in descending, by the way, so that's kind of nice. So we've got 4x to the power of 5. And then uh, you'd have a positive 0x to the power of 4. And then you'd also have a, the next one is a positive 2x cubed. I can do a better 4, that's better. Uh, minus 6x squared. And my fraction line isn't long enough. That's a little better. Uh, the next term was a 0x that was missing, the x term. And so we put it in there as 0x and then plus 15, right? Kind of long, but it's still doable. And it, it can be enjoyable. It can't, it can't be, unless you're a math nerd. So let's take that. I'm just going to copy it so I don't have to write it twice, even though it's kind of ugly. We'll just divide it by 2x minus 3. All right, so again, we look. You say, well, how many, uh, the x, I just start the x's. I got x to the power of 5. I'm going to need four more x's to multiply by the x, right? Because x to the power of 4 is x to the power of 5. Uh, sorry, x to the power of 4 times x is x to the power of 5. But then I'd have to take 2 and multiply it by the 2x's. So that'd be 4. We're going to get rid of that. Kind of a big line there. But now 2x to the power of 4 times the negative 3. Again, that means I would be adding some x to the power of 4's. Six of them, it looks like. So that zeroes out. Uh, x to the power of 4, 0 plus 6 would be, well, 6. And then everything else drops. So next up, we got, uh, now I got the 6x to the power of 4. That means I'm going to need three of those x's. 6 is positive, so I know this is going to be positive. Uh, but I'd have to multiply 2 by 3. So that'd be 3x cubed times 2x, which would be 6x to the power of 4, which is used up, so I'm subtracting that out. Oh, here we go. So 3x to the power of 3 times negative 3 there. Again, it's gonna be, we're going to have to add that in as 9x to the power of 3, so that zeroes out. 2x cubed plus 9x cubed, 11x cubed. Yeah, so we get, now it's it's not a even number. So I kind of meant for them to, but they don't, and that's okay. Uh, and so I'm expecting some kind of fractional value to be multiplied here, and that's okay too. So next up, uh, I'd have to multiply just the x's, right? So that'd be, I need two more x's there to make this x squared times x would be x cubed. But uh, again, how do you make an 11 from a 2? You have to multiply it by 11 halves. Okay, now the 11 is positive, so I know it's going to be plus uh, 11 halves the x's. 
All right, so 11 halves times 2 is, well, 11. Again, we're taking those away. So that, that will zero that out. But 11 halves, oh, here we go. 11 halves times the negative 3, that's going to be positive 33 halves. X squared. So, yeah, definitely going to go to my calculator for this one. Yeah, even, even in this one, negative 6 plus 33 halves, it gives me 10.5 x squared. Um, which, you know, one button press says it's 21 halves. I'll just make a note of that over here. 10.5 is the same as 11 halves. That, that should, the reason why I'm keeping it is as 11 halves there. 21 halves. Apologies, 21 halves. Uh, is, is because um, it, this, this, the fraction may help me with the multiplication. Me, but maybe not you, okay? Uh, so that zeroes out. I can drop my zero x's. And then the plus 15 as well. All right, we're, I feel like we're close, but also far away. So, uh, ah, geez, yeah, what are we gonna multiply two by to get, well, let's start with the x's, okay? So I know I'm gonna have to multiply by an x there. x times x is x squared, that's good. Uh, but again, what am I going to multiply 2 by to get to 10 and a half? Well, I would do uh, 10.5 divided by 2, divided by 2 there. And that ends up 5.25, or if you want the fraction, 21 fourths. Now that 10.5 that was positive, so I know this is going to be positive. I'm going to put the fraction just because I can fit it in better. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's the same as 5.25. Okay, so 5.25 times uh, two x's there would, would have given us that 10.5x taken away. And then since it's positive, times three, let's see what I get, times three. Okay, that's, well, minus now, or plus, because it's being multiplied by the negative. Uh, yeah, the decimal is gonna be better on this one, 15.75x's. Okay, so that zeroes out the 10.5x squared, but now I got 15.75 x's plus 15. Uh, only one last step here for us, I think. So 15.75, what do I got to multiply that by 2 by to get that 15.75? I just divided the two numbers, and it tells me that, um, that yeah, and it's positive, so positive 7.8. 7, 5, and uh, this would have been 63 eighths, if you're interested. Uh, now, this one, I don't need to make that an x, the 7.875, right? Because when I multiply that by 2, it's already got the x, and then that would have been 15.75 x's. Okay, taken away. Uh, and then 7.875 times the 3 there. Oh, it's pretty ugly but we are adding it in any case, uh, 23.625 right there. So, but that zeroed out. Then I just gotta add that to 15. That'll give me my remainder, which, you know, is still pretty ugly. But the remainder here, 38.625. Or if you want the fraction, which I don't know that anyone does, but 300. There we go. All right, let's see if we can write this then as a complete quotient. 2x to the power of 4 plus 3x cubed plus 11 halves x squared. I guess I'm mixing fractions and decimals. Hopefully that's okay. Positive 21 fourths x's. And then, you know, I'll put the, the fraction in here just because it may look prettier. And then finally the remainder of 309 eighths. Okay, or, like we've seen before, you just write the whole thing out, but then just add it. Add the remainder. Well, I guess I would probably want the decimal here, huh? 38.625 over 2x minus 3. Either one works.